<laughs> That's gonna throw me off so much. Oh my lord. It's fine. Look, I'll do one more. <coughs> there you go. Sing. <coughs> <laughs> hey, put it away until we're done. Don't listen. Why, why would you? I know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, episode two. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run that back. Let's run I just love back. the idea of saying, oh, episode two. I, didn't, I, didn't I look over at Caleb just going. <laughs> <laughs> No, are we all looking at the camera right. while he does this? No, I don't no. know. I mean, y'all can do what you want. I'm a, I'm a, I don't control your eyes. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the camera, though. It's more like it's more yeah, conversation. I'm not yeah. Gonna yeah. Be like, conversation yeah. Right? Yeah. I think it's okay to be like, oh, hey, guys, welcome to episode two. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, do that. Episode two. Uh, today's discussion, tonight's discussion, is going to be about things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's definitely today because it's being released at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Yeah. So you have to say it's tonight. Oh, today. Um, it's actually today. Oh, so start it over. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be great to edit. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay are you ready? <clears throat> Here, I'm going to sync it up one more time and, and I got you. Ready? Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This week we're talking about... <laughs> Boom. There you go. Faith. <laughs> All right. So what's what is, faith? What does faith look like to you and what is faith? Those are questions we'll be answering. Start us off, Ethan. What is faith to you? Oh, man. Um, all my notes are on my phone. I'm just kidding. I didn't have any notes. Man, what is faith to me? Yes. Mm. Trust in the things that we do not see. And faith that for me also is trusting in the Lord that... <laughs> the, our building is going to just corrupt. I, I completely just um, corrupt. It's going to corrupt. Yeah. I, had, I, I, read, I read this thing the other day, and it said, um, like, we can't, like, be, like, relaxed or at peace when we don't have trust in the, per- in the one who controls and guides our life. And I feel like that's faith for me, is just being able to put, like, full, full trust and knowing that God is in control and knowing that all things that he does – he does for his good, whether I see it or not. So, that is what faith is to me. So, Natalie, what do you think? I mean, I think it's definitely a lifestyle. Mm. Like, it's something you have to, like, daily remember. Like, it's not something that's obviously going to come naturally. And it's got to be something that, like, regardless of your circumstances, good or bad, like, yeah, like you have to have faith <clears throat> in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like it's it's a lot easier said than done, obviously. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. I feel like it's more than just like like action. It's more than just like faith in your relationship <laughs> with the Lord. Like it's faith in every circumstance, everything you're doing, every day you're living. Like just a lifestyle. That's what it is to me. I think faith is like the glue. Like we have a lot of things that go on in life. We have a lot of different pieces and different aspects to the things that we do. But faith is like that underlying thing that's always there and always holding everything together. And if you don't have faith or if you're lacking faith, things start to like crumble and fall apart. Mm, yeah, that's good. I like that. Thanks. It came from my own brain. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like just a word that we like hear mm. and people like apply until like you actually need it. Right. And like you, everyone can say that you have it until like it's tested. Mm. Like it's yeah. like... Like, it's a lot easier for me to have faith for Ethan than it is for me. Right. Like, if someone's like, oh, just have faith, God will take care of it. You're like, yes, have faith, God will take care of it. Right. But then, like, when it's you and it's like, man, like. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. (laughs) Like, yeah. Yeah. Or like, man, like, I'm feeling down this week. Okay, let's pray for it. Well, that's not going to do anything. Like, okay, you aren't believing that it's going to do that. So, like, yeah, it's not like you aren't receiving it. So. Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> it's not <laughs> just dying. I have a cough. I don't want to cough because it's gonna be so loud. Yeah, it is gonna be loud. <laughs> <laughs> so stuck in my Rocky, what dying. do you think? Um, I, I think faith is like kind of almost like you know, like in the mornings when you go for a walk and it's like really, really foggy, or for a drive when you leave early in the morning mm. and you can't see nothing, mm. but you just have to know that you have to keep going and that little bit of light that you have in front of you is all that you've got and you trust that that's all that you need mm. is to just follow that little bit of light. That's kind of like what I think faith looks like is that you just keep following that little light 
you don't you can't see if there's a deer getting ready to run out in front of you mm. or you're about to hit another car or whatever but you continue just to follow that little light right in front of you mm, and yeah. that's faith yeah. no matter what's going on around you it doesn't matter if you can see it not see it you just go yeah because you know yeah. that's the way you're supposed <clears throat> to go that's and good. like having the same confidence whether it's foggy or it's Good. Clear, right. Like right. If it's completely mm. clear, you have faith that the road is going to guide you where you need to go. Right. But once it gets foggy, you're hesitant and you like delay. You have that faith you to drive do 55 slower. miles an hour, right? Versus when it's completely Jeez. foggy and you've got just that little glimmer of not your high beams, just your driving lights, right? And you're doing 35 because you don't want to crash and burn. Mm. But you're still moving. But you're still moving. Mm. That's faith. Yeah. That's wild. I love that. Here's so, all right. Way. So I have a, I have a, a, a new question. Mm. Again. Okay. Like, all of our answers are very Christianese answers. Oh. What does faith look like when you're not feeling like a Christian? Mm. Mm. Um. Wow. And, oh, we didn't, and, we didn't okay, so prepare me, this one. Yeah. Oh, I, I know. I've been saving this one. I'm like, I've got something that's going to make them all go, oh. And don't act like none of us have never been there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because mm. if so, you're full of yes. dunk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, You're full of fig. <laughs> full of fig. <laughs> full of fig. <laughs> um, I, I think that's the moment where you like exercise your faith muscle, mm. where you have to be like, okay, I'm going to continue to have faith even when it doesn't look like, when even when things aren't what I want them to be, even when things aren't going well, even when things kind of suck. It's a matter of, I think we talked about today, it's a mindset. Mm. And even when I don't feel like the Lord is doing stuff, even when I feel like I'm like just floating out there in, in the wilderness and the Lord's just like, ha look at you, Kayla, they're floating around. Um, I know that at least he's still watching. Mm -hmm. He's still listening. Um, so it's just a matter of, okay, even if I don't want to, I'm still going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like what Natalie said, like, it's a lifestyle. Like, it needs to be not just a, like, feeling like an emotion of faith, right? Like, something happens, you're like, oh, I'm going to be faithful. Like, for, like mm -hmm. our car breaks down. Like, we're going to be faithful. The Lord will provide. You know what I mean? We hear that all the time, but to actually live in that is a lot different. And I feel like it being a lifestyle is so important that, like, it doesn't matter if I, if I wake up a morning and, I'm man, I'm really not feeling it. Or I wake up one morning, I'm like, all right, let's go. Like, who, like we're going to go in the streets, like all this stuff, like pray. Let me, let me clarify. We're going to go pray in the streets, not just go in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go in the streets. Even the streets. I love that like, like, it doesn't matter because emotions don't matter at that point. To, to the, to, to the, it, well, stop. That's a whole different, that's a whole different. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, to the person, like, if I'm going through the situation, I'm not going to have the mindset right away of like oh mm -hmm. what i'm feeling right now doesn't matter i need to have faith there's going to be human nature will still put me in a spot where i'm like oh man like it really does suck da, 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 da. like instead of going down the tribe or <laughs> rabbit trail <laughs> going down the rabbit trail of the of those <laughs> go, <laughs> instead of going through the <laughs> yeah, but, instead of going through the rabbit trail of those negative thoughts and putting you into like a downward spiral we gotta switch our mindset like you were saying of like, the Lord is going to provide for me. Even though I don't feel him, he's still here. Mm. He's still watching. He still hears my cries. Like, even though I don't see it, he's still working things behind the scene. You know what I mean? So. I feel like it's easy to, like, <clears throat> think that's how I'll handle it. Right. But, yeah. like, yeah. total transparency, like, <laughs> transparently. Um, like, I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to have faith. And then it's, like, dark and foggy. I'm like, well, let me help guide it mm -hmm. until the sun starts coming up. Then I'll, like, then, then I'll, I'll believe, believe you've got it. But, like, right now you need my help a little bit. Like, right. like when it's foggy and dark, it's like, all right, start to eliminate one of the factors and I'll take mm. my hands off. Mm. Mm. Which, like. And who are we? we right. Like, we don't. Who are we to say, like, oh, God, like, let me like, take care of this yeah, for a minute. I don't even think we, like, realize that we're doing it all yeah. the time. Mm. It's just, like. To be able to say, I have no clue how this is going to happen. I have no clue how I'm going to get through this. I have no clue how this is going to work out. To say, yeah, I believe God has fully got it, and I'm just going to sit here and wait for him to do it. 
because that goes against who we are as people. Mm-hmm. And I think it's yeah. crazy that sometimes in like some areas that's easier for us to do that in. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Other, the other ones were like nope. other areas were like, mm, yeah, mm, I got this mm, one. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm good, God. Yeah. I, I got this. I'll, I'll yeah. let you know when I need your faith yeah. mm. to get me through this type of thing. Mm-hmm. And but there's, it's funny how we pick and choose those areas based upon our emotions, what mm-hmm. we're going through. If it's going to be hard or not, the easy things, we're like, mm. okay, we're good. We got the, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. The hard things, we don't want to. Like, yeah, I believe we're like, all right, God's God, got it. I, mm-hmm. I got the, I, you, you've got me on this making it to work on time today. Like, mm-hmm. even though yeah. I woke up late and I'm going to stop for Starbucks, I believe you're going to get me there on time. Mm. Right. <laughs> I believe that. That's why I don't drink yeah. coffee. <laughs> and that's why you're just that's sad. Mr. Oh, I'm Holy Spirit espresso. Holy Spirit espresso. <laughs> Wait for it. Jeez. Wait for it. That's wild. Imagine hovering on coffee, <coughs> like our own like little bag. <coughs> anyway, we're getting into that. That's, that's a separate excited. topic. That's, yeah. that's a different episode. I only get coffee from coffee places. I'm not brewing coffee at home. I have two coffee makers, and I'm not brewing it at home. What hmm. if it's like uh, Even concentrate? If it's I don't have time I just, for that. I can't. What if it's like concentrate, and then you just like add milk to it or something? Like in a like, like in a those, container like, to keep the, little, in the, in the little, fridge. Yeah. yeah, like the little TikTok girls that like get the I like normal have, just black coffee. So so this is make this their is own. like my only my, like the cup. Yeah. The, this is the cup that I love. I love this cup. So I put everything in this cup. I'm not putting coffee in this cup. Mm. I don't have like portable. Uh, uh, who are they? Disposable cups that I can just take with me to work because then it just sits in it just sits in the classroom and then I got to deal with that and I'm just not doing it. Mm. Um, but I can throw away a Starbucks cup. I can throw away a Timmy Ho's cup. I can do that. <laughs> Timmy Hoes. <laughs> They're not sponsored by Timmy Hoes. It's not a paid endorsement for Timmy Hoes. Listen, Tim Hortons, Timmy Hoes is just funner to say than Tim Hortons. Yeah. More fun, funnest, funnier, I don't know. I love, I was going to say, hell, okay. Timmy Hoes. I probably should have said that. <laughs> yeah, I did anyway, so it's okay. Um, so what are the easy things and what are the hard things? What are the easy things to be like, oh, Jesus, you got it. It's all yours. And one of the harder things to be like, ah, uh, I'll, you can be in control of this side, and I'll just handle this <laughs> side. Like, let do okay. like a hand over hand with me, and just. <laughs> yeah. right. I feel like, it's like the negative aspect on that one, losing a job, <coughs> losing a job when you have a house payment, or you're paying for an apartment monthly, or you have a car payment, or you have. 15 youth group kids they take care of and you buy lunch for every Sunday. Mm, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the life we live. <laughs> but, like, those kind of things, right? Mm. It's like, sometimes, like, because we, we heard it, um, well, like, when we were at um, the Deliverance Conference this weekend, there was a lady who, like, just went through, who, who lost her job, and she had, it was jobless, she was jobless for a month, and the Lord told her, was like, hey, like, you need to sit here with me for a minute. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if the Lord's like trying to get you in a place where it just needs to be you and him, but you're like, okay, well, I can go apply for these jobs. I can make just a little bit of money part-time just so we have time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And for the easy things, man, I don't know. For me, for me, myself personally, it's nothing. It's like an easy thing. You know what I mean? Like, because I've, this is something that I'm getting rid of, obviously, and that the Lord is working me with, but like, I take control of things a lot. <laughs> She's shaking her head like, yeah, yeah. he does. <laughs> that is that was my like, thing. You're like, kidding. I, I have very, like, I, I have to have my hands in this thing. Even right. yeah. and Natalie have control issues. Yes, I agree. No. <laughs> you're kidding me. It's not wow. the same people. Wow, that's insane. I never would have guessed it. They'll learn. They'll <laughs> learn. <laughs> Jeez but Louise. Something that I think is crazy is, like, so we brought up, like, the job thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, as yeah. someone that yeah. just went through that, it's it, what I find so crazy is I'm seeing more and more people like me that have went through this job thing and we're all mm-hmm. like, okay, it's no big deal. Like, okay, Lord, like yeah. whatever you're going to do, you're going to do. But and you're like but, fresh week into it. You're like, well, how am I going to do this? This, this, normally I'm like, okay, it's, it's been 12 hours and now. How yeah. am I going to make my car payment where's this my month? <laughs> right. Where's my binder? Like I need a bind. I'm going to have to redo a whole entire binder on this thing. But this time, well, the only time, but I'm just like, Okay, God, like, what are we going to do this week? Okay, well, you're not going to do nothing this week? Okay, cool. Like, let's go work on our minister stuff this week mm-hmm. and actually, mm-hmm. like, plan stuff out and get stuff done. Sorry, I really and I it. that seems to be, it, it's crazy to me, but that is, like, a theme that I'm noticing is everybody that is going through, like, the, the job transition right now is just like, okay. Mm-hmm. And before, everybody would have been freaking out. Oh, yeah. Anybody would have been. Yeah. And it's like people that haven't went through that yet or like 
that's the thing that they think they would freak out about. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you go through it, you're not freaking out. And it's some type of shift that is going on that I don't understand yet with mm -hmm. that. Because yeah. that we, as humans, we look at our job as our, our true source, our true yeah. provider because on us, everything. Yeah. And now when you don't have that, you're just like, okay. okay. And yet, like for yeah. me, like, I'm like, okay, what are you doing this week? Uh, I don't know, maybe possibly doing something. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, like, but yet my bills and all my responsibilities are still paid for, still done, and I am not stressed. And then they move. Yeah. Every month. And I'm like, yeah. mm -hmm. you don't know how. Okay, God, like, I open up my, like, I'm scared to death to open up my, my checking account. Every, every, I'm like, I'm not going to do that this week because I know it's that scary, I just, brother, whether you have I a good know, job or not. Like, I know I just uh, kind of did some online shopping that I probably shouldn't have done again this week. And <laughs> yeah. certain website, Jesus Loves You, had like $5 t shirts <laughs> again. Oh, wait, okay, wait, we're right? not sponsored yet. We're not sponsored yet. $5 <laughs> t shirts again. And I'm just like, okay, just keep ordering. And then somebody was really bad influence sitting beside me and said, oh, just order that sweatshirt, the one I have on right now. On Saturday, we wouldn't mention who it was. <laughs> Not pointing <me. Not> <laughs> fingers, but. And, and then uh, Kayla. Uh, and then Friday, they had another sale on, and I bought another thing, and I'm I just like. Too. <laughs> but do you not love the clothes that you have? Oh, they're do you, amazing. Do you not love them? But that's and not I think, my point. Listen. So I'm scared to death to always open it, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to open it this week. I, like, I really need to balance my checkbook. Like, oh. Well, not, not a real checkbook, but like everything that I know is coming in and out. Yeah, and I'm just like. That makes sense. I mean, I'm sorry. And I'm just like, oh, okay, we have a lot more there than what we really thought Ooh. we would. How did Why we do this, Lord? Lord? Like, <laughs> it's, just it's like, anything. and I'm not stressed about it. Yeah. And I and think it's just crazy. I think the big part of it, like you were saying, like people, people who are like, who have like a perfectly fine job, if they end up going through a job loss or of some sort, right? Before everybody would be freaking out. You know what I mean? But if like, for example, like if we have we have someone like in the church that goes to the job loss, they're not gonna be freaking out as much. And I feel like part of it is breaking out of the condition that like. We have to work a nine to five. We have mm -hmm. to pull out this amount of money a week. We have to do this, this, and this on, in order to live check by check in this world. You know what I mean? We have all this inflation going on and everything, and we're not, we're not living. We're not worried about that mm -hmm. because we serve a God who provides. You right. know what I mean? Which is where faith. Comes yes, yeah. which is yeah. yes, of all of it. Yeah. But you don't think about it being faith. You don't. You're just. You don't. You're just I'm just because like even now I just thought about that. Like I'm just like. Okay, well, it is what it is. Like, I, I just know I'm okay. Well, no, it's called yeah. faith rocking. Yeah. You're a freaking idiot for not realizing <laughs> it's not faith. You know what I mean? Like, but it, that, I mean, that's really what it is. It's truly faith knowing that I'm going to be okay. Mm -hmm. mm. And I think, like, you brought up a good point of, like, between when you're not working, you're like, okay, I'm not working this week, so I'm going to dive in. I'm going to do this. I'm going to mm -hmm. seek you more. I'm going to. That's where we, you don't cross the line of, like, complacency versus yeah. just, like, Contentment. God's got it. Mm -hmm. Like, Okay, God, if you want to have me, you know, working in this physical world type of riches, then I'm still going to be working for riches, just right. not like in the same degree. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, because I think people can hit a point where it's like, well, God will take care of it. I'll, I don't have to go to work today because yeah. I have enough money right now and God's not going to let me down. Or like, oh, like, <laughs> definitely my, said that before. Uh, <laughs> I don't have even. enough money in my account, but I'll get this car because God knows I need it, even though I have a good one. Like, there's a difference between, like, <laughs> I'm going to do this, like, because God will do it, like an mm -hmm. entitlement. And then there's a difference between, uh, I don't need to look for a job because God will just take care of it. And then there's a difference, like Ethan said, of like, okay, God told you to sit in this, so sit. Mm -hmm. Or like Rocky said of like, I'm just going to like seek you more this week versus working. There's a difference between <clears throat> saying it and believing it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. A lot of people in the past would say, oh, well, the Lord will provide. Like we, we all do yeah. 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 all the time. Yeah. 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 But when I think when we say it, we really mean the Lord will provide, yeah. Yeah. like legitimately. But there are people out there that will be it. like, right. yeah. Yes. yeah, there will be people out there just like, well, the Lord will provide. Okay, so I'm not going to put any effort forward. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do anything. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here and watch Netflix yeah. all day. But the Lord will provide because he's a good God and he mm -hmm. only does things that are for the good and blah, 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 blah. But next thing you know, your rent checks bounce. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ethan, he said, like, because we've seen it. So, like, faith, yes, seeing stuff builds our faith so then we can have it mm -hmm. further. But, like, mm -hmm. is seeing stuff what helps us build our faith? 
Mm-hmm. I feel like, like how do we have faith without seeing things? Like how do we have faith in things we haven't seen or experienced? Yeah. And yeah. I feel wow. like after like taking wow. that first the first that yeah, that's good. But like after okay. Seeing seeing like the first <laughs> thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like so like for our first first instance of like genuinely seeing and living in faith, right? We see that and it was difficult to get there. It was difficult to actually like have trust in that. Then the next time it happens, we're like, okay, well, we've seen it previously, so mm-hmm. we'll just see. We'll just see if it'll happen again. Put our faith, trust, mm-hmm. do what the Lord tells us to do. Then the next time, and it's good. And then the next time, it gets easier every time, mm-hmm. I feel like. So, like, now we hear people saying, like, oh, well, we just get back, came back from this deliverance and healing conference, and there's a lady that got out of a wheelchair. Before, I'd be like, bro, what? Mm, yeah. Like, y'all yeah. are crazy. Like, what pills did you give her? Like, what, 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 like, <laughs> like, pills. like, give up, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but now we hear it, and then we're like, oh, praise Jesus. Like, thank you. Yeah. We don't take yeah. it. And it's not like a, oh, thank you, Jesus, and go back to what we're doing. It's, yes, thank you, Jesus, he because we know he can do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're not yeah. taking it lightly. Okay, but think about back to small group. Mm-hmm. Right, because we're all in the same small group, <laughs> yeah. right? Where we used to joke about, well, it's because we not, it's because we're not seeing <laughs> miracles. Yeah. We don't awesome. see miracles yes. and yeah. things because we just don't have faith. But like legitimately, and we, and legitimately. And we all laughed yes. at that. We, yes. we, we, we were like, okay, blind That's eyes crazy. open. Yes. And yeah. and we put being limits reds on from it. We yes. did. We put yes. God in a box. Yeah. Yeah. We put yeah. God in a box wow. because. Okay. Like he quit being God. Like we that was right. yes. literally Listen, a year ago. Yes, yeah, literally a year ago. And, a year and ago. we put God in a box, mm-hmm. but we're living in the box too. Mm-hmm. God is not just we put him in the box mm-hmm. from our understanding on it, but he's still outside the box. But oh, we're yeah, staying sure. in the box with what we know of, mm-hmm. him, what we're used to seeing. Mm-hmm. Bro, like if you would have told me like like if you would have told me a year ago, right? We'd mm-hmm. be so we'd be so big and like diving in on this deliver like about deliverance and mm-hmm. and healing and actually like believing in it and then like if you would have told me a year ago being at a conference over the weekend praying over the praying over this dude and all glory goes to jesus i did not do nothing besides just say yes but and like literally seeing legs grow in my hands bro you would have got you i wouldn't have believed i don't you're you're talking crazy it's wild like, yeah um i had a thought on what you said um, we have put the Lord in a box, but not of the things we know of him. Mm, yeah. Because if we knew God as well as we say we knew mm. God, we would have no doubt that, yeah, he can do this stuff. He, yeah. he can do things outside of our thoughts and outside of the way that we think. But we have placed him in a box of our normal. Mm. We have placed him in a box of okay, I can see this, so I'm going to believe this, and right. that's it, that's all. Mm-hmm. And we forget that he's a God who raised Lazarus from the dead. <laughs> we, we forget that he's he's that guy. He's that guy. <laughs> he, he is that yeah. guy. He, he is the same guy who used spit and mud to heal a blind man. Mm. He is that guy. Yeah, nothing's changed. Nothing, nothing has nothing. changed. Except our for us. Mindset. Our mindset. Yeah. We have. We, yes. Yes. we have. It's, it's, it's us. We yes. are yes. Yes. Yeah. It's not that God isn't still doing these things. It's because the body of Christ, like, yeah. we're not tapped into that. It's because we're lazy. Yes. We're just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what? This the is Lord good enough. We have become, yes. This is good enough. He yes. saved us. Sunday That's morning Christians yes. is what, what yes. is yes. what the majority of, of America the Americans has become. Yes, yes. the American Sunday yes. morning churches. Yes, and it. Sunday morning Sunday go to morning church. Christians. Check it off my list. Not Sunday yes. morning. If I'm there all day seeing the works of the Lord, then right. thank you for this opportunity to be right. able to witness mm-hmm. this. Think it's about not an inconvenience. Right. Think mm-hmm. about how even for us, how like you know all of us serve in some capacity mm-hmm. at, at our church. And think about how we would be texting each other. Are they almost done yet? Like, right. it, it's, yeah. it's 1 o'clock. Yes. It's time to go to lunch. Mm-hmm. These kids are driving me crazy. Right. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I can't do, like, hitting the red yeah. button type of thing. Like, yeah. we're done. Okay, you know, reflection starting. Think Jesus. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Like, right, we're start dr- cleaning up. Yeah, yeah, like, let's go. It's lunchtime. Yes. And now we're like, okay, well, we'll just go ahead and order lunch. So it'll be here by, like, 3. Because right. we should right. be out of church yeah. by 3. Right. And, it's and if we're all, not, then we're eating with Jesus. Right. That's all I'm saying. It's all about mindset. Yeah, and even like, even our core group of people, mm-hmm. mindsets have changed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sure. if it and doesn't I, start, it doesn't start right. happening farther down the line, we're going to be right back to where we were. Yeah. 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 And I like what you just said, that our core, mm-hmm. our core has changed. That's why community is so important. That's why in Proverbs, when it talks about iron sharpens iron, what did yeah. I say? 
You said Com- commune? I said commune. Okay, that's a different episode. Mm. <laughs> Listen, hold on. I am not part of that episode. <laughs> I will come visit that episode. That's the red button. <laughs> but I will come visit. But yeah, Sleeping candy bars. what you were saying is like how our core, how the people around us, their mindsets changed, right? And I feel like, like I, like I said, in Proverbs, when it talks about iron sharpens iron, just as a friend sharpens a friend, like that is so important. Like if the people yeah. you are around, if they're not, if they're not like uplifting you, if they're not sharing the things that the Lord has been doing with them also, and like sharing the things that they've been learning, bro, like you're just going to stay like this. Or like working flat, alongside you. Right. right. You're just yeah. going to stay in a flat like, line. Even if they want to be like, oh, that's great. Da, 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 and they are like uplifting. If you're still doing it by yourself mm-hmm. you're not and you're not surrounding yourself right. with mm-hmm. people who are like-minded and willing to do what we mm-hmm. are literally told to do, yes. cut them off. Yeah. And, and they it, can it, affect your faith your because if Natalie right. was like, oh my gosh, like this week, like I was delivered from this. I saw healing for this. I saw that. And I'm like, did you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like, well, what changed? Or right. like mm-hmm. doubt Yeah, like it. make you question. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. like. Uh, I mean, it'll probably wear off soon, or like mm-hmm. you're just on a spiritual high, yeah. or like whatever. Versus Cause, like cause, encouraging cause, it, mm-hmm. and like, yes, like I'm glad I'm gonna be praying for you with that, blah 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 blah. Or like that will affect everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Versus like someone, because yeah. you can be like-minded with people, mm-hmm. but on a different path, and that's okay. But like, don't like settling for that is. Like, their faith can affect your faith. Because yeah, they sure. can yes. plant seeds of doubt without even meaning to. Like, mm-hmm. oh, well, that's just not for me. Like, well, if it's working for me, why don't, wouldn't it be working for them? Mm-hmm. And, right. like, then you can question. And that's not a you issue in the first place. Right. right. And then right. it comes into that very, well, that's not biblical. That's mm-hmm. not. Yeah. Right. Christians can't have. And then Christians you're arguing over it. Right. And, and, that, and, that, and, and nothing good comes yes, right. And that's what right. causes yeah. the vision. That's yeah, what causes the vision. Is. Every, what's 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 anti-biblical is division. We're not supposed to be butting heads with each other just because <coughs> just because my calling is this and your calling is mm-hmm. this. Like going no, back to what right. you said yeah. about like about like working alongside each other. Just because I may be called to be an evangelist does not mean all like, of we're you are not going, all going right. to be doing the same right. thing. But you guys are going to be doing but stuff working for the that, body of Christ. Yes, we all were everything. the hand. Yes. Right. We would get nowhere. Yep. Right. Right. If we all were just the mouth, we wouldn't get yep. nowhere. Right. Yep. It takes all parts mm. of the body of Christ. Yeah. Right. I think it's That's important so that you important. have people that like cheer you on mm-hmm. in your part. Like, man, yeah. I can't do that, but I'm so mm-hmm. like happy that you can do that. And like, I'm encouraging you through that, not like a, well, why can't I do that? But cheer mm-hmm. you on while they're doing what they're supposed to do. Yes. Right. Right. Not just yes. standing just there. Because well, I'm so glad like, that yes. that's what you can do. That's mm-hmm. not for me. Now let me go so do I'm my just thing. So yeah. I'm just going to clap for mm-hmm. you. Like, no. Just because you didn't see what I saw doesn't mm-hmm. mean it's not real. Yes. 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 Yeah. And, and that is where it's going to start separating, I think, us from other people mm-hmm. is because we are seeing things happen and they're not seeing it. So they have the doubt. Right. And and yeah. they they don't want to believe it because yeah. if they they wanted to believe it they could they yeah. could see it okay. because if me telling you my story of what I went through is not proof enough for you yeah right then it's time to, to knock the right. dust off yeah. my feet and, yeah. and get right. to step see, in. Mm-hmm. You, you can't tell me what you know the what? Lord saved me from. Yeah, you right. can't. Yes. You, can. yes. you can't tell me what the Lord did for yeah. me. Yeah. I've seen yes. it. I've you can't send it. me. 500 YouTube videos mm-hmm. proving what I went through is wrong. Right. Because right. Right. what yeah. I went through... I can tell you. I know <laughs> I, what I went through. Yeah. Like, I have the bruises to <laughs> show <laughs> what I went through. Literally right. bruises. Literally right. bruises. So you, you can't... And don't make me feel bad for, for wanting to tell you, but knowing that I can't tell you because right. you're just going to tell me, well, that's not true. It, mm-hmm. That couldn't have happened. You're, you're just you're being this or that mm-hmm. and I that just drives me crazy but I know for me it has caused a lot of knocking the dust off my feet yeah. with with my circle and even with that right, right. <laughs> that's why we're sitting this here is how right. so this, so we're here today we tell y'all gotta go <laughs> no, it's only episode two, but, get out. <laughs> but you know what I mean like even with that which is kind of crazy because it goes back to faith. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I had, I had faith in people that I surrounded myself mm. with more than I had faith in, in Jesus and, wow. and faith in the Holy Jeez. Spirit because I thought they were my yeah. Jesus. So to speak. Yeah. 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 You, know yeah. Yeah. Like, you made yeah. them, I made wow. them an idol. Man worship. Mm. Yeah. It was yeah. pure man worship. 
and that is what's happening through. so much too like with all these big names it is. I, I we watch them like you know what i mean like we watch them and we listen from and learn from them but it gets to a point where are we worshiping them right they didn't but, say but it, what's crazy is it, yeah we all get that man crush monday type of thing going on on people you know what i mean like not me Right. Right. Really? Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can name at least one. Right. <laughs> I won't, but I could. But it's not just that type of thing. It's everyday normal people, too, that yeah. we do. It is, yes. Yeah. And we have to stop and just know that it's okay. And some people aren't going to be walking the same path that we are. Mm-hmm. And that's where, again, it all comes back to faith. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. When, we're, when, we're, when the Bible talks about it being Christ like, right, you think like, that makes me question, okay, did Jesus have faith? Because he already knew it was going to happen. You know what I mean? Mm. But even then, I still, I still believe that he, still, he had faith. Whenever he walked up to that blind guy, spit in the mud, mm-hmm. he wouldn't just be, all right, well, I hope this works. You don't know. Right. He was like, he was like right. in Jesus, Jesus is he was the solid like, foundation of faith. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like, Jesus was like, in Jesus' name. Or, it, well, wait. Well, <laughs> in my name. Jesus, in my name. No, but like, and I, I call you he. <laughs> wiped the dirt off and he, he opened up his eyes and you know what I mean oh, so and I like what you said too is yeah. like Jesus is Jesus is the fi- foundation of faith like if we are not think about what that's what we all talk about is Christ like Christ minded yes. Jesus is the foundation of faith Christ yeah. is the foundation yes. of faith that through and through yeah care to share with the group um, we were talking a little bit about how Jesus just like spit in his hand um, and how it was like not the most random, not random in how he did things, but also very like, all right, we're gonna use spit and dirt. Like kind of out of pocket stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And who would spit we, in the ground exactly, and rub it yeah. on someone's eyes? Exactly. Like, what? Like, who would tell someone, hey, you gotta go jump in the Jordan River seven yeah. times? Like that. That's what the Lord said to do. So you gotta make it happen. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. And the thought is, is that if he only did it one specific way. If he only healed people in one mm-hmm. way, it would be, okay, well, my healing didn't look like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My healing didn't require me to cry. My healing didn't require mm-hmm. me to scream. Yeah. My healing didn't require me to go through deliverance. Like, it would be one of those just like, well, if it says this is how he did it in the Bible, and that's not how he did it for me, so therefore it didn't happen. It didn't happen, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that's literally <coughs> the same. Or yeah. you, like and, the faith and, is in how it's done. Yes, like, instead of how it did. Well, right. Yeah, the process. Yeah. Like, yes. well, Kayla, oh, like, like, you know, did this, this, and this. So once somebody tries to do that for me, mm-hmm. then I'll believe he can do it. Right. But if they try to do another method. Kayla stepped two steps to the right. And right. And if I can't step two steps to the right, then it's not going to happen for me. Like, no. Right. And I like, I like what you said. You said... Thanks. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I like what you said about whenever, like the Lord told him that dude to go jump mm-hmm. in the river seven times. Faith lines up with obedience. Mm-hmm. We can't be yeah. obedient if we don't have faith. Because what are we being obedient to? Yeah. Like how how can we be obedient to Jesus, mm. to what He has for us? If we don't have faith that he will make things work for his good and that, you know what I mean? Like even, even in the times where it's foggy, where we can't see what's around us, where we're freaking out, it's all dark and we're like, okay, well, I'm going to keep driving. I'm going to slow down a little bit because I don't want to crash and hit a deer or something like that. But like, I'm going to keep driving. I'm going to keep pushing on because I have faith that I'll still get to the destination that, that the Lord told me to get to. Something that you said made me think of something. Um, you said, you know, people were like, well, if it, in the Bible we see where it was done like this, so mm-hmm. if I only take, but we only got recorded a mustard seed yeah. of yeah. the miracles. So if we get so fixated on just, on in the just what yes. we saw, it, just what yeah. is written in the Bible, we are getting this much yeah. when of what he actually small, did yeah. in yes. his three years. Versus everything that was done, because not yeah. everything was recorded. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it says that in John, not everything was That's recorded. What I was just looking at. Yeah, it's in John, and we can't. We're at that point. A lot of these like normal churchgoers are going to get like maybe like a little upset or cringe when I say this, but we are limiting God to only what is written in the Bible. Yeah, to a book. it's yes. John twenty one yes. twenty five. It says now there are also many other things that Jesus did 
were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Mm -hmm. Because you we, know what's crazy? Handle the knowledge. Right. The Lord did not stop working when the Bible was done being right. written. Right. Right. Like right. we are because still the, living in the same world that the oh Bible my was gosh. written. So Come on. like That's good. Just burr, because burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> But like it like for real. Yeah. Like it's still the same thing and just because that's what was written, like, and oh, that's time. all that can happen. That's all that's going to, like. And that's the only way it that's can That's the only way it can happen. Right. Like, no, actually, it's not. Mm -hmm. And yeah, especially because we live out. in a totally different time than they Oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, to use, like. Because they didn't know. Paul, if Paul uh, and Jesus had a podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. But, like, to <laughs> use, to use the trying. modern yeah. day yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And be using it in ways that benefit the Lord instead of the way that the world wants to use it mm -hmm. like because when you get when you get hooked up on the things of like what the world offers you you get so much like you chase material things yeah right you chase you chase temporary things mm -hmm. that like okay i can have all these cars you know what car am i driving today like yeah. don't get me wrong that'd be cool but <laughs> but to like only desire that to yeah. only desire the things of this world and the materialistic things of this world the people in this world all these yeah. things we are, we are, we get, we are slowly ringing Jesus out. Mm. We are slowly, okay, well, I'm going to leave you here for a minute. I'm going to go, I'm going to go over here, pick out which car I'm driving for the day, pick out which fancy restaurant I'm meeting at. Bro, no, no. Because what if Jesus wants to ride in the car with you? Mm, come on. <laughs> Amen. Y'all don't got to do it for me. <laughs> oh, I can't with you. Oh, okay. uh, That's best thing. Uh, imagine trying to leave Jesus behind. Just. Mm. Okay, but how often? But we do. Okay, we don't. Okay, we really saying, do that. But, yeah, we do. But how often? How often are we doing it like intentionally? intentionally. And how often are we like intentionally being like, no, I'm gonna. Like you'll be there when I'm, I'm done. Right. Mm. How often are we like intentionally saying, all right, Jesus, you you come with me there. Okay, but being real. No, sorry, you go before me. Mm. I'm not going unless you're going. How often are we intentionally being like, okay, um, I'm not moving until Jesus is going in front of me. Because let's be clear, the Lord is in front, behind, and side to side. So if He's moving forward, we will also be being pushed forward. Mm. So what? At what point are we willing to give Jesus full control and be like, okay, wherever you go, I'm going. Mm -hmm. And if you're not going, I'm not. It, it's like I, I don't know why I just got this picture, but like you know, how motorcycles have like a little sidecar. Yes. Uh, it's like we put Jesus in that sidecar. No. <laughs> and we only let him out of the, of the sidecar to control the motorcycle or to control our life mm -hmm. when we really need him to. The rest of the time, we, we just keep him with us right there in the little sidecar. Like, we can look over and like, hi, I see you, Jesus. You're with me. You're not I'm actually attached going. to me. You're just yeah. barely attached to me with this little pin wow. over here. Kind of right like a beside. security blanket. Like, right. I'll yeah. use you when yes. I need you. I'll when keep you. That, yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I'll people, know you're right there. Yes. yes. But it's like people treat Jesus like he's just a genie in the bottle. No, yeah. Jesus did not die. Did not go through the crucifixion, did not get beaten and publicly humiliated in front of all these people just for you to say, all right, well, I'm going to leave you here for a minute. I'm going to do what I want to do, right? That's literally saying, I don't, I don't care what you did right now. I'm going to do my thing. Mm -hmm. But the second we need him, oh, thank you, Jesus, for this. Please help mm -hmm. me go well, through this. That you, yeah. Yes. So. And, right. like, we, I, I feel like, man. Mm, sorry, continue. You had your... Yeah. I did. I had a thought because you said motorcycle, which then made me think of my car because my car is kind of small like a motorcycle. There are times where I don't like to park. Um, parallel oh. parking really sucks um, for me in general. Um, I like to back mm -hmm. into spaces and when I can't back into a space and I feel like blocked in, like, oh, I'm at Easton, parking on the sideways. Anyway, I hate it. So there have been times in my car where I'm like, I can't get out of this spot. Someone come get me out of the spot. Wow. How often are we driving mm. our cars and just do, 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 do. Suddenly, uh, in my old car, I backed up and almost went into a ditch. Like we were leaning forward, <laughs> pressing the gas, <laughs> screaming. How, how often are we in a ditch and like, oh, Jesus, come get me out, please. Mm -hmm. Just to get back in our car and start driving as if he didn't just help us out. Mm. Yeah. How often are we just like, oh, he'll get me out of this spot and this spot and this spot without ever saying, you know what? Thank you, Jesus. Now I know for next time, I know right. that I can't park here. Yeah, and Instead, not, we're wow. just like, oh, I'm going to, hey, that parking spot's open. Dang it, I'm stuck again. Jesus, oh, all right, Jesus. Oh, that parking spot's open again. Oh, how do I keep getting stuck here? That's crazy. <laughs> like, uh, 
Yeah. Sorry, that just, that just hit me. A, a thought that I had. Okay, you know, I was talking about the motorcycle and, mm -hmm. and that sidecar. I don't know if you all know, but motorcycles with those sidecars are more dangerous and are more mm. susceptible to like flipping over and getting caught mm. by wind and flipping mm -hmm. over when they have the sidecars. That's wild. How wild is it that we put Jesus in something <laughs> that makes us more dangerous? <laughs> when, if we would just put him on the motorcycle with yeah. us, we'd be safer and more Let secure if we would keep him with us at all the time instead of just throwing him as a side chick wow. in the sidecar. Wow, side chick in the sidecar. Don't <laughs> me. You say it. Don't wow. make Jesus your side chick. Don't make Jesus <laughs> your side chick. Rockyism 101. <laughs> yeah, so Rocky has wow. Rockyisms. And uh, you'll you'll y'all will probably hear quite a bit of them. Great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they don't hear another one. The episode, yeah, right. episode two. it'll be on my merch. It's gonna have all my <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the back of a shirt. It's wild. Episode like two. Five, man, it's fine. Man. Uh, hmm. man, that's good. That is good. Mm. Yeah. And going back to what you're saying, like you said like I know for next time not mm. to get me in that spot. Right? And I feel like after there's going to be a point where it's, there's no more next time. There's no more like, yeah, okay, did. okay, next time yeah. I, I, I'll do it. Next time, okay, I understand. Like, I'll, I'll call upon your name. No. You learn the first couple of times or however long that you need to learn because God puts us in a pot, spot. God puts us in a spot sometimes. Not a pot, but a spot sometimes. <laughs> God puts us in a pot. God puts you in a pot, then I'm, you know, that's interesting. Turn the heat <laughs> But God puts us in a spot sometimes where we purposely, where He keeps us in a spot where we're like, okay, what the heck is going on? Why, why do, why do you, why do I keep on doing this? Why, why are you not bringing me out of this right now? It's because He's still teaching us things. He's still helping us learn things, right? And I think, sorry, that's different than intentionally being like, right. Oh, this spot's open. Right. Yes. But there's also that's a hard like, spot, but it's open. Mm -hmm. This that, that's for compact cars, but it's open. Mm -hmm. Like, like there's, a, there's a little spot right here, but if you drive a little bit farther down, wait yeah. just a little longer. If you're patient enough. If you're patient enough, mm -hmm. then there's a spot a wide open. That's a whole nother day. Whole nother day. Whole nother day. <laughs> Patience and faith go together. Yes. They, mm -hmm. they have to. There's no way for, for them not yeah. to. Mm -hmm. You can't exercise your faith if you don't have patience. Yeah. And you can't grow your patience if you don't have faith in the Lord to renew your patience. Mm. So That's good. They go together. So you have to have faith that there's going to be another parking spot. Yeah, down there. You don't want to be patient. We've already flown with this for like 40, 45 minutes, so. <laughs> That's okay. I just, I, it's just, Jeez. it's just where my brain went. Man. Yeah. Faith, man. There's a lot of things that tie us I'm stuck faith. on patience, though. Oh, I'm patience. I know. I'm so sorry. Save that. I knew they were stuck on patience. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's on patience. Save that. Patience. Save that. Yeah. We're all stuck on That's a different day. Well. It is. Different, different day. They can lead that discussion. Yeah. Right. Right. We yeah. will be yeah. featuring yeah. Natalie and Rocky. <laughs> 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 you guys can talk no, you guys can talk about the commune when you're talking about patience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yes. want to be a part of the commune. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not Praise the Lord. Well, Are you kidding me? Commune <laughs> is just um, <laughs> common uh, just <laughs> common <laughs> unity. No, that's, that's, it's not. That's community. Um, that's where I believe in our commune is. Mm. Well, not our commune. No, we don't have a commune. But, um, <laughs> we didn't make these people think we <laughs> We don't uh, have a commune. We we have, we're actually commune. going to sleep after this. <laughs> <laughs> My bedroom's so that here. way. <laughs> we all live right here. But it's that's common wild. unity. All of us being so in, in um, uh, like-minded mm -hmm. and yeah. working together. And I think that this goes back to probably what we said like 35 minutes ago. But um, that community is what's going to help us build our faith. Yeah. When we are in community with people and we are just like, you know what? I'm struggling right now. And we're being full tra fully transparent. We're having those hot conversations where we're just like, you know what? I'm not doing too hot, man. I'm not doing too great. We allow people into our little bubble to help us build that community to build us up. But even letting people enter our community and, and building that up, we don't even have to say that anymore. Right. No. They like, look at like, you and they're like, like, we can look at each other like, and be uh, like, we'll yeah. talk to you. Fix your face. If <laughs> right. you can't fix and, it and, yourself, and, and, and we're all you. great of going, oh no, I'm good. We are. Yeah, oh, because yeah. that's what bro did like, this morning. Uh, we're fine. Uh, <laughs> but I was fine this morning, like legitimately. We're fine. Like, I I'm good. Oh no, there's nothing wrong. I'm good. Yeah. But yet, building that community <laughs> between all of, like, even us, we're like, mm, yeah. Mm. You're a liar. You could, you could try that. Yeah. Like, no. uh, like, well, that's like what we talked we'll about in group the one day. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember how it came up, but it was about how 
like how to hear from God and if you like recognize his voice and Kayla mm-hmm. looked at me and said yeah but like I don't have to hear you to know what you're thinking like mm-hmm. I can see your face and see your facial expression and I know what you're thinking I was like yeah that's because we know each other yes and the like, spirits are con- your spirits are connected yes like, oh another you topic <laughs> know each other and it's the same way with God like if we know him then it's a lot easier to have faith because you understand. If you like, spend time with yes. him, you learn him. Like, like we learn you're not going to have yes. to, like, always hear. Mm-hmm. Right. You're just going to know. You don't like, need, like, a, like 100% yeah, verbal, yeah. this is the spot you need yeah. to do. But first, you need to do this and this. Mm-hmm. No, it's a, the Lord lays it upon you. Yeah. You need to do this. You're like, and without question. I know the Lord. Yes. You, you, know, you know what he's saying versus what others are saying. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you'll mm-hmm. be able to discern Mm. And even Where when others are saying from. things that are from him versus what mm-hmm. they are, mm-hmm. yeah. This this you know, like, I is... recognize that voice. Yeah, I right. don't recognize that one. So... You recognize both voices, but this one, mm-mm, nope. The, I recognize not... that that voice was not a good time. That the, voice was not yeah. good for me. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But that all revolves around like, it, it's funny, but it goes back to what our topic was: it like, does. The faith. Yeah. All of that revolves around faith. Yeah. Faith even, is such a big even topic. even knowing our commune community mm-hmm. here of you know what I mean like yeah. having faith in each other knowing that mm-hmm. I, I have faith in you guys that when my face says I'm not good you know I'm not good yeah, yeah. we'll pull one, one another side and be like and you yep. may know it before all right let's go like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, looking at each other across like, mm, oh, okay. right but yeah, you know what I mean like it. It, that is having faith in yes I don't want to say humanity because it's not humanity it, it's having faith in your people mm-hmm. yeah. yeah but that type of faith runs along the same type of faith that I have with Jesus. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have them both together running right. this race together, you're not going to get nowhere. You're done. You're, you're just going to be running around <laughs> like done. in a hamster wheel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. Wild. That's yeah. Wild. You can run, you can run, you're going to sweat, whatever, but you're not going to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. I This thought could just be for me, and that's totally okay. No one has to understand it. But... Um, when you know the Lord and allow the Lord to know you, not that he doesn't already know who you are and know everything about you, but when you allow the Lord to know you personally, to recognize, like, this is just for me, I'm so sorry. Um, When you allow him to know you completely and to know your face and to be like, hey, that's not okay, stop it. And be like, oh, Okay, that's straight from the Lord. Okay, yes, he, yes he, Jesus. He Thank knew you. what my fix was doing before it even started. Um, and when he can, when he not that he doesn't have the ability to do it, but when you have the ability to recognize that it's from him yeah. to like check your heart and be like, oh, immediately, oh wow, what I said was not okay. Okay, I'm I'm sorry for what I said. That that wasn't what I meant to be immediately corrected because mm-hmm. he knows you. Right. So he knows where your thought patterns are going he knows what's like one of those like what's the word i want like pet peeves maybe he knows those things so he's already preparing you for like this is what's going to happen that that's why you have this weird uh uh this weird confidence going into a place because you're going to need it that that's Mm -hmm. why i've given that to you so i just yeah and i like i like what you said um thanks (laughs) we said that at the same time (laughs) about um shoot Sorry. About like knowing. Oh man, I so lost it. Faith, oh, faith goes into. Mm. Patience. No. Recognizing your face, being able to. Yes. It, okay. Yes. Um, like you said, you. <laughs> Those people are just so. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. In the podcast, people are just gonna hear this noise of people like, hitting a water bottle cap. Yeah, just the like table. that, we are. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But what did you like... expect us to do? <coughs> she didn't expect nothing. It's called intrusive thoughts. <laughs> that's that's a whole today. other episode that's, right that's there. Kayla's intrusive thoughts. thoughts. That's like a three week episode. Impulsive, 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 we rebuke. Yes. We rebuke intrusive thoughts. I'm glad it's not me this time. I don't know why I did that. You don't have a lid for your water. But sorry, back to what Ethan was saying. I'm so sorry. But to go back to what you said, right? Faith, right? So when you're if you get to a spot where like you're about to say something mm-hmm. and you and the Holy Spirit checks you, that's bro, like that's a switch of mindset mm-hmm. too. Faith ties into mindset. Yeah. Faith ties into obedience. Faith ties into community. Obviously, mm-hmm. faith is, is Jesus is the like is the like his foundation is faith. Mm-hmm. 
you know. So faith is a huge topic, a huge broad, broad, broad spectrum of things, mm. and yeah. Did you guys ever, ever do spider webs in school? Mm-hmm. So it's just like spider web. Like drawing a spider web. No, like for planning. Oh yes, <laughs> like a, like a, you put the you put the word faith and then yeah, the circle and then, and then and then you draw oh. lines to what it could go to and then everything goes like that. That's how I feel. Faith is yes. That new math crap. Legitimately, no, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> oh, I wish I had paper. We should get a whiteboard, guys. Imagine. Oh, my. That'd be such a dangerous thing. Because I am a visual person, and like, like, for instance, I just got this whole picture that the Lord gave me the other day. <coughs> I was on the phone with Rocky, um, and like, I, there's no way for me to like describe it. Like, I tried my best to describe it, but to like be able to draw it out. Mm. That, I'm a visual person, so the Lord showed it to me in a way. Um, that he uh, that uh, that I'd understand. <laughs> that I'd understand. No, that no, that makes sense. But a whiteboard's crazy. Today's no. topic. No. <laughs> we don't have to announce it. We just my, have it on the board. Our teacher. My name is Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> we have <laughs> Ethan. I just I don't know. I that's that's what I thought of because it has so many different mm-hmm. different aspects and different alleyways that we could go to that could lead to other things. Yeah. And then either way, it's all tied back to faith. Yeah. Let's make it part two. Part two. Faith part two. Down the road. Down the road. We have more to cover before then. Oh, for sure. We're going to have to make a part two because we need to wrap it up. <laughs> what a time. <laughs> what a time it has been. What a time. What a time. <laughs> what a time. What a time. Oh, I love that for us. I love this. All right. Someone want to do Great. That? Great episode. Mm. For sure. Yeah. I, Thanks I, for I, watching. Great episode, too. <laughs> Oh, we're high five people now? Yes. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I think we need something else to end it. I, I agree. <laughs> I, I don't want everybody, like, if we, like, get famous, people walk up and be like, high five. I'm like, no. I, not, I feel not, like the first five, your hands hurt, and you're like, I oh, personally stop. hate high fives. I high really? five my kids every day. I do high five or handshake. I think Kayla just is going to be the one that just goes down and gives everybody hugs constantly. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, are you a hugger? <laughs> 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 That's Kayla's merch line. Are you okay? <laughs> She's got a picture of me just going like this. <laughs> Actually, I would really love gosh. that. Um, I am voting for that right there. That's. Are you a hooker? So. All if right. Not, I am. All right. So, wrapping things up? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, if you have more thoughts on this, uh, comment them below. Yeah. We want this to be like a discussion thing. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I mean, we think of it on the fly. We, purposefully didn't have notes and stuff for this so that you could see how our conversations go and we want that have to be and you guys to be part of the circle so uh join on and with us um subscribe on whatever you're doing uh rate it i guess if you like it and we'll see you next time and (laughs) what a time what a time